So today we're going to be looking at the new, uh, the first civilization pack. So it comes with this horse, um, the weapons. So it comes with. I'm gonna just show it off. So it comes with the the lightning strike hunter bow, which has really fast charging speed. It has a range hit multiplier and a combo multiplier comes with the flickering daggers which is a legendary dual sword um uh, yeah so it has health on hit adrenaline uh, adrenaline on hurt and adrenaline regeneration and then it comes with the glowing mace which is a legendary heavy blunt um mace uh it has adrenal adrenaline on kill a combo multiplier and a health for critical um and it also comes with this shield and this horse so the shield will give you health on parry which is all that really matters and is special about the shield and the horse is normal this outfit though is not part of the pack this is just the ECU armor so I want to get that straight there's no outfit that comes with this pack the packs ten dollars and this is a review so personally I, I would say don't buy it because <laughs> it's literally just normal stuff you know um, I just bought it so I could show it off, review it for you guys. Um, it's not worth it, really. You know, it doesn't even come with an outfit. Now, I'm just gonna, you know, show off the weapons, what they can do, you know. So I could definitely see the health on hit being useful. But I mean, these are just fairly normal weapons. Like, it, it's basically just uh, a skin pack, if we're being honest here. It's not worth Trying to get the health on Perry, the shield. It's a fairly good bow. I feel like it's it's special can be useful, but I mean, you never really need a, a combo. I mean, a, a range multiplier when you're using a hunter bow. It's not really what you use for like long range. Most people will go with. Uh, uh, predator bow. Personally, I don't like the mace. It's just like my opinion. I like the daggers. The daggers are fine, but I mean they're not worth. You know, like the pack really, the pack really isn't worth ten dollars. I wouldn't suggest buying it. You know, maybe if you want to look cool, like like have a complete set of first civilization. You know, because like you could clearly get the Isu armor and then from there you would just have all the normal stuff the horse the horse is a little bit of a disappointment um 
personally, what really bothers me is that it doesn't have a tail. I just, it, it just, it for some reason it pisses me off. Like, it has this little stub. You know, it's cool, but I mean, it has a little stub. And it just, it bothers the crap out of me. I mean, but other than that, I mean, it's really just normal stuff. You know, it's really just normal stuff that they reskinned. You know, there was a detail that I noticed, but it doesn't really matter, and you're, it, you wouldn't even acknowledge it. That when you uh, charge up the bow and fire the shot, the shot, like, you could probably see it in the video, the shot, like, the arrow, glowed yellow. It glowed. But, I mean, it doesn't make a difference when it's on the ground. <sighs> Aesthetically, it's, it's not even that noticeable. I mean, it's a nice detail, but, I mean, it's not that important. What really pisses me off is they never gave any of the mounts, like, a special ability. I mean, the mount itself, without the whole pack, like, individually in the store, you can see the mount is $5. You know, for a $5 mount, you know, I'm expecting, like, a Jesus horse. Like, this thing should be able to walk on water or fucking fly or something. But, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't run faster than a normal horse. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything special. It just looks cool. And it's, it's a ripoff. So, you know, I suggest not buying it. I bought it so I can make this review and tell you not to buy it, ironically. But, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. You know, if you want it for the, the look of it, go ahead. But it's really just normal equipment. It's normal horse. You know, it doesn't even come with an outfit. The outfit I'm wearing, as I've said, is... It's a normal legendary outfit you get from going to all the moon locations. I mean, all the star locations. It's not worth it. For 10 US dollars, it's not worth it. Like, if it was, like... Listen, the horse itself is 5 bucks. If the whole thing was just $5 alone, it'd be fine. But it's it's $10. And that that's really outrageous, and it should really be in, like, the season pack. Because, like... Come on. Like... I'm not saying, like, oh... You know, ten dollars is a lot of money, but I'm saying like, it, it for it not to be in the season pack, and I mean like, ten dollars is more than what this should be priced at. This whole thing should be at most seven dollars, but like, like in reality, it should be five bucks. I'm saying like, if they were to push it, it they could probably market it for seven bucks. But I mean, it shouldn't be at ten. It shouldn't be ten dollars. It's not worth ten dollars. Anyways, so that's my review about uh, the Isu armor pack. It's not really worth it. Don't buy it unless if you want it for the look. Um, but that's pretty much it. So please like, subscribe, share, comment, and bye!